On July 5th of this year, Donald Trump announced that he would pay $1 million to the charity of Elizabeth Warren's choice if she took a DNA test that showed she is Indian. So she did, and she posted the results online for everyone to see. According to the genetic testing, she does indeed have an ancestor who was Native American. When confronted, Donald Trump said he had never said anything about giving any money to charity. Of course. Uh, Of course, Donald Trump is incredibly racist. And of course, when he's proven wrong about something, he just lies straight to a camera and expects his fans to believe him, which they will. The entire thing is disgusting and wrong. But it's also kind of disgusting and wrong on Elizabeth Warren's end. Uh, This entire to-do began because she listed herself as being Cherokee in the Association of American Law School's Directory of Law Teachers, and so Harvard counted her as a woman of color. Let's be really clear here. Elizabeth Warren is in no way Cherokee or Delaware, her other claimed heritage. This was typical white nonsense uh, that's exceedingly common in which the whitest of white people tell themselves stories about a great, great, great grandparent who was 116th Native American, and they embrace it because it makes them seem cooler and more interesting because nothing is less cool or interesting than being super fucking white like Elizabeth Warren. But being Native American isn't about who your great-great-great-grandfather may have boned. And by the way, uh, in the notes here, I'm going to be linking to a bunch of indigenous voices because they're way more important and more knowledgeable than mine. So please go check that out. It's not about genetics, and it's not even about the whispered tales told by your father and your grandmother and your great aunt. It's about actually being a part of that culture, about being on the rolls, about having actual Cherokee citizenship. If you get a DNA test that proves you're directly related to a person who is a Cherokee citizen, okay, that's worthwhile. But that's not what we're talking about here. That's not what this DNA test did. This DNA test was about looking for genetic markers. After all, genetic testing facilities don't actually look at your entire genome and then read it like a book. They look for markers, and if you're descended from a Native American, you may have some of those markers that they can look for. However, you might not. DNA is tricky, and race is tricky, and tribes are tricky. You could have none of the markers, but still be 100% full-blooded Cherokee. Also, various tribes are so close together, genetically speaking, that there's simply no way that a test like that could determine whether you're Cherokee or Cree or Iroquois. Hell, you could be South American and still have some of those same markers. So in a way, Warren got really lucky here. First, she got lucky in that Trump is a moron and he has no idea what it means to be Cherokee. So when he wanted to talk about proof, he talked about the only thing he could think of, which is taking a test, in this case, a genetic test. Then she got lucky in that she actually did have a marker commonly found in Native American people's DNA. Because of that, Warren is able to claim some kind of high ground over Trump, but that's kind of like being the world's fastest sloth. It's damning with faint praise. You haven't really done much. The true high ground would have been admitting at the very beginning of all this that she was wrong to list her background as Cherokee when she absolutely was not, and then not posting things like this on Twitter. My family, including Fox News watchers, sat together and talked about what they think of real Donald Trump's attacks on our heritage. Elizabeth Warren, Donald Trump did not attack your family's heritage. He attacked the heritage of actual Native Americans who are erased every day while stupid white women like you appropriate their identities. To make that tweet even worse, she actually followed it up with, And yes, a famous geneticist analyzed my DNA and concluded that it contains Native American ancestry. Famous geneticists don't establish identity that way. Uh, They don't even validate genetic results. Good research is done by good, hardworking researchers, not celebrities. And DNA tests like this cannot tell you for 100% certainty what your heritage is. I seriously have not stopped cringing since I read it. 
To Warren's defense, the charity she's asked Trump to donate to, which he probably won't, is the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center. And she did eventually get around to saying that DNA and family history has nothing to do with tribal affiliation or citizenship, which is determined only, only by tribal nations. I respect the distinction and don't list myself as native in the Senate. Okay, but that's way too little too late, in my opinion. It's always nice to see Trump get owned, but in this case, Warren was just wrestling with pigs, something that my people say you shouldn't do because you both end up muddy and the pig likes it.